How can I leave after a night like this? The words of Steven Gerrard on the night of May 25th, 2005. In six second half minutes, Liverpool had overturned a three goal deficit against AC Milan in Istanbul. The Liverpool captain had scored the first goal and won the penalty for the third. Liverpool would win their fifth European Cup on penalties. Six weeks and a rejected £32 million bid from Chelsea later, Steven Gerrard announced his intentions to leave Anfield. This has been the hardest decision I have ever had to make, a statement on July the 5th, 2005 read. He had officially handed in a transfer request. Chelsea had risen to prominence that summer with a first Premier League title in 50 years in Jose Mourinho's first year in charge. Under the ownership of Roman Abramovich, Chelsea were knocking on the door of the upper echelons of English football. They wanted the best of the best. Steven Gerrard was that. The wheels were set in motion for the transfer saga of the summer. Three days later, however, the midfielder would sign a £100,000 a week contract with Liverpool, just as Real Madrid circled the waters underneath. Five days after his statement, he played the first game of the rest of his career at Liverpool. He would be named UEFA Club Footballer of the Year in 2005 and clinch a further FA Cup and a League Cup before leaving Liverpool in 2015. But let's slide the doors open, gauge the effect of the butterfly and rewrite the football in history books. Here's what would have happened if Steven Gerrard joined Chelsea in 2005. The morning after Steven Gerrard's very public transfer request, Chelsea lodged a bid of £40 million. With a star player begging to leave, Liverpool have no option but to accept the British record fee. Chelsea pay Gerrard £120,000 a week. As a result, Michael Essien and Armanish aren't signed to fill that central midfield berth. Chelsea's wild spending since Roman Abramovich bought the club in the summer of 2004 continued with a third of 100 million spent, almost half of that going on the fee for Gerrard. The midfielder's first game is the Community Shield against Arsenal, as part of a midfield three featuring Claude Makélélé and Frank Lampard. Chelsea's defensive fullbacks in Paulo Ferreira and Asia Del Horno allow for just the defensive cover of Makélélé. Lampard and Gerrard joined the attacking three of Iron Robin, Didier Drogba and Damien Duff. Gerrard assists Drogba for the winning goal, with Petr Cech, Ricardo Cavallo and John Terry making up the starting eleven, as well as the likes of William Gallas, Hernan Crespo, Joe Cole and Robert Hoof. Chelsea blow the competition out of the water. The Blues make a record-breaking start to the Premier League season with 11 successive wins to open up. One includes a 1-0 win at Anfield where Steven Gerrard is roundly jeered by the Liverpool faithful akin to Luis Figo arriving in the new camp in the white of Real Madrid, but without the pig's head. Chelsea's first loss would come in a sticky 1-0 loss at Old Trafford in November. Despite another loss away at Arsenal a month later, Chelsea would clinch the title on April the 9th. Chelsea's number 17 net in his 17th and 18th goals of the season in a title winning 4-1 win at home to West Ham. Gerrard had, at last, won his Premier League title. He wouldn't notch successive Champions Leagues for different clubs, unlike Samuel Eto'o, see 2009 and 2010 IRL. Chelsea would fall in the semis to eventual winners AC Milan, whom Gerrard helped slay in Istanbul a year prior. Domestically, Liverpool would regain some semblance of retribution from the whole debacle, triumphing on penalties in an FA Cup semi-final. More on that Liverpool Cup run later on. Stevie G would score 24 in all competitions, proving that him and Frankie L could play together in the same team. This would translate itself onto the international stage and the 2006 FIFA World Cup in Germany. In Sven Goran Eriksson's last hurrah for England, he begrudgingly set up a midfield three of Owen Hargreaves in a number six role, with Lampard and Gerrard ahead of him in the double pivot, or whatever the cool kids call it nowadays. Joe Cole and David Beckham sat slightly higher up, helping out a 20-year-old Wayne Rooney up front. The difference in tact allowed England to dominate the group stage. They won all three matches with five of their nine group stage goals coming from Lamps 3 and Gerrard 2. Ecuador and Portugal fell in the knockout stages and extra time was needed in the semi-finals to topple France with Zinedine Zidane at the peak of his powers. Four days later, England met Italy in the final in Berlin. Lampard scored two to better Miroslav Klose's tally of five to win the Golden Boot, the first Englishman since Gary Lineker in 1986 to win the accolade. Mourinho had found the perfect formula with the midfield three at Chelsea. In the next two seasons, they broke both the points record and the defensive record. The pensioners do P 
people still call Chelsea this, wouldn't also equal a record held by Liverpool, Arsenal, Manchester United and the mighty Huddersfield Town for successive top flight titles with three in 2007. A League Cup and an FA Cup would make it a double-double, but Mourinho's love affair with the Champions League would suffer in this period. A successive semi-final defeat, this time to Barcelona, angered the Portuguese manager. This would be but temporary as a special one clung onto his job by the skin of his teeth and led Chelsea out in the Luzniki Stadium 12 months later. Steven Gerrard cancelled out Cristiano Ronaldo's opener in Moscow and the game, as was fated, went to penalties. Clinical penalties were traded off between Gerrard then Carlos Tevez, then Giuliano Belletti, then Michael Carrick and Frank Lampard, until Cristiano Ronaldo inexplicably stopped his run-up and missed. Didier Drogba, having been calmed down from an extra time scuffle by Gerard, wasn't able to slap Nemanja Vidic's taste from his mouth and subsequently be sent off. The Ivorian slammed in the winning penalty. Chelsea had their first Champions League and Gerard his second. Six weeks later, Gerard captained England in a European Championship semi-final in the absence of an injured David Beckham. He assisted two of Wayne Rooney's three goals in a 3-2 win over Germany in Basel. However, in Vienna, the three of Hargreaves, Lampard and Gerrard would be no match for Xavi, Iniesta and Senna. Marcos Senna. Fernando Torres scored the only goal of the game to clinch the European Championship for Spain, marking just the two years of hurt for England. England would never win another trophy in Gerrard and Lampard's tenure. Chelsea's successive league titles racked up to five by the time Jose Mourinho was courted by Inter Milan in the summer of 2009. Mourinho's new side would best Chelsea in the 2010 Champions League final, where Gerrard was suspended for a red card in the semi-final against Lyon. Gerrard would claim up to eight Premier League titles, two European titles and a number of cup competitions. And the alternative? Well, in the aforementioned 2006 FA Cup campaign, Liverpool lost the last FA Cup final to be held at the Millennium Stadium, 3-2 in extra time, at the hands of West Ham. Michael Essien flunking a 30-yard volley into the crowd in the 120th minute. Liverpool would qualify for the 2006 Champions League campaign by goal difference from Everton, but would fall to three successive fifth-place finishers. Gerrard's replacement Michael Essien was sold a year into his contract, replaced by Michael Ballack, who would have a mundane career at Anfield. All in all, you chose poorly, Stephen. And so to the winners and losers of this scenario. England, clearly a winner. Under Sven Goran Eriksson, they would have ended 40 years of hurt with Frank Lampard winning the Golden Boot. Despite not winning the European Championships in 2008, this scenario is clearly more beneficial. Michael Essien, a loser. The Ghanaian couldn't drag Liverpool to the glories that Steven Gerrard could and was shipped out after a year with a £10 million loss. Chelsea, a winner. They continued their success from Mourinho's first season by adding a further six Premier League titles. The Champions League was a particular highlight as well as a number of cup wins. Liverpool, a big loser, clearly couldn't replace Gerrard after numerous attempts with would-be Chelsea signings in Balak and Essien and suffered as a result, successive seasons out of the Champions League. Manchester United, another loser. In real life they had conquered Europe and England, adding another three successive titles from 2007 to 2009. They won one title in this time frame and missed out on the 2008 Champions League triumph. And finally, Steven Gerrard, the biggest winner. His famous lack of Premier League titles would have been filled by a move to Chelsea, six in total, with the added bonus of a further Champions League title, not to mention the success with England. This video was made as part of the What If Football launch day. Each week, starting from Monday morning, a new scenario will be published right here on YouTube.